This way, Lugan wants to know, what is the power of the word opa to Korean men? A very long time ago, when I was first regularly hanging out with Korean people, but I still didn't quite understand the nuances of the culture, I was talking to my Korean friend about the word opa. Initially, the confusion I had was, why do Korean girls call their boyfriends older brother? This confusion is purely due to the fact that opa is basically mistranslated as older brother when a more accurate translation would be older male I am friendly with. And because this translation in dictionaries for the word opa is older brother, what I was mistakenly thinking was that Korean women call their boyfriends older brother, which I think is a confusion from this weird direct translation you can still find in most Korean English dictionaries. So I think it's less the case that Korean women call their boyfriends and male friends brother. And I think it's more like Korean women call their older brothers, older male I am friends with. The direct translation is a little screwed up here and I probably make another video about that. But while I was having this discussion about what the mistranslation of the word opa really means with my Korean friend, he ended up telling me something that really shocked me a bit. He told me he really loves being called opa by his girlfriend, which seemed quite different to me. And his sentiment has been echoed to me by my other Korean male friends I've met. Now, maybe I've only been in cold, heartless relationships or something, but whenever a girlfriend has called me by a standard pet name like honey or baby or something like that, it never felt that special to me. I genuinely think from what I've heard from my handful of Korean male friends that the word opa in general feels a lot sweeter to Korean men than the words honey or baby do to Americans. In fact, to me, the words honey and baby always felt a little not special because those are general terms that my girlfriends have used with many other men in their lives. What always felt more special to me were our own names we'd call each other because they were kind of like inside jokes between only us. I used to call an ex-girlfriend of mine Baba, which is kind of a, a bad word for old lady in Japanese because she was Japanese and a couple of years older than me. And in return, she started calling me Gigi, which is the Japanese bad word for old man. Now, despite the fact that these words have bad meanings, this felt more, more special to me than baby or honey because they weren't the terms of endearment millions of other people were calling each other. They were our terms of endearment. Only we called each other. They were special. Which brings me to my next point. How can the word opa feel special when it gets used so very often? As I said, in English, the words honey and baby get used so often between couples that they don't feel particularly special to me when a girlfriend has called me them. But the word opa isn't just used between couples. It's used with every man that is a few years older than a woman that she is friendly with. To me, that would seem to make the word even less unique than the words honey and baby in English. And when I say this, I'm not trying to diminish the way Korean people do things. This is a genuinely interesting cultural difference that is really hard for me to understand. This is really interesting phenomenon because I genuinely think that most of the time, the word opa feels sweeter to a Korean man than the word honey or babe does to an American man, despite the fact that the word gets used so much more often with so many more people. How did this come about in our two cultures? I also should say, I kind of like the idea of calling everyone brother and sister. I know it might sound like I'm ragging on the idea of the word opa, but I think it says something about a culture when you call everyone the same word you would use for your brother and sister. And another thing I'm curious about, could the word opa be used in the seduction process? I know that often Korean relationships start with one person, I'm guessing usually the man, asking the other person, usually the woman, to be his girlfriend or boyfriend. And because this is the case, because there is one defining moment when a man and woman go from being not a couple to a couple, it's very straightforward to start calling the man oppa, especially because I think many Korean relationships start out of some kind of sogeting. So it's not like people go from being friends to a couple. It's more like they met with the idea that maybe they'll become a couple. And once they do, time to start calling this dude opa. But what about when two friends more gradually become a couple? 
I imagine the scenario where there is a man and a woman in a university club or who work together in some capacity or who shares some other similar friend group and you have the man and the woman gradually getting closer and closer until they become a couple. Well, in the gradualness of them getting closer together, the woman, I believe, would start calling the man Opa. Now I'm guessing she would be calling other men in the club or friend group Opa as well. Thus, she wouldn't be able to use it as a signal to the man she liked that she was interested. But what I'm curious about is if there is a certain way she could use the word Opa to signal her interests. Uh, maybe through her tone, maybe through her mannerisms. Did the idea of Egyo is truthfully strange and off-putting to me? But maybe it could be used to differentiate between the Opas and the Opas. All in all, these things are interesting to me because despite the fact the word Opa is used more than the words honey or baby in English, I feel like it has a bigger impact on Korean men than those other pet names have on American men. And I'm also curious about how women can use one word to address their male friends and their boyfriends, but somehow modify the meaning and feel of the word. These questions are interesting to me, and I hope they're interesting to you. And if you think they are, please remember to talk about these ideas with your friends and on social media and anywhere else that you interact with people because it's our job to make this world a more interesting place. Have a super most awesome day.